Adam Orico, heir of Torna. Looks like that resonance isn't just for show. You're too kind. Golden eyes. I thought Tornans all had blue eyes. You're a bastard, is that it? My father is generous. He pays no attention to things like that. <laughs> You're wrong. You don't understand the consequences. Don't I? And you don't understand what humans are. Malos, the all-knowing. A diligent student, you could say. Then learn this. Huh? Mithra! Heads up! humans and blades can do together. But you threw that away! <laughs> I don't need that crap. Better off without it. and you'll learn one thing. Deep down, they wish they were dead. They kill each other like they swat flies, running towards oblivion like blind rats. They see the divine flame of life and piss over it. <laughs> They're genius at that. In a class all of their own, really. Marcus. Oh, that flame is wasted on them. So I... I want to give them a little push in the right direction. As the benevolent servant of our wise dad should. <sighs> Here, keep yourselves entertained. I'll go get what I came for. Excellent. 
on your faces. Huh. Well, that settles it. The end of the world is postponed a little, folks. If you want to take this off me, come find me in the Titan's core. That'll be the finale. Is this a game to you? Yeah, it's a game. An easy cure for the tedium of being. Sorry, I let him escape. No, thank you. You saved us. You owe me one, then. It's been 80 years, hasn't it, Jin? You know me? You and Ornelia used to ride on my back. We used to have a lark flying about. Ornelia? From the photograph? And I suppose she's your driver now? My name's Laura. I've been with Jin for 17 years already. I never. You were fortunate to be picked up by her, Jin. Now, Uncle, we're just in the way here. Perhaps we should leave it to the soldiers and just go. Yes, let's do that. Shall we head for the Torn and Womb? Yes, I'd say we're bound to. The Torn and Womb? Perhaps I should go first. Please, go ahead. We will join you once we've made a report to the King. What good was your militia? They could not halt Malos, nor even safeguard the seal from his clutches. I have no excuses. Adam. Hm. Majesty, this is a deep dishonor. I beseech you to lay them low, that the people may have faith in government. Majesty! Brother, your advice is wise. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment. Adam only sought to protect your realm. Silence! Is your voice more important than the King's? But what of you, Zeta? What of me? Look first to yourself, I bid you. What do you mean? 
Surely, Adam sailed the ship into a rocky reef. But if he were the bow, you were the stern. Y your Majesty, those are bitter words. It was Adam's vanguard that let slip Malos. Would our army have succeeded with certainty, brother? In the hour of need, where were they? We set the defense of the people as our highest goal, Your Majesty. Our soldiers guided the townsfolk to safety. While Adam's militia flew, though rashly, into the breach, and the brave dragoons of noble Hugo wagered their lives as mere trifles for our nation's sake. But, but I... It unfolded thus. If honor took its natural course, the sons of Torna should have stood their ground. Mark their honor above their frailty. You saw the battle with your own eyes, did you not, my brother? I, I did. And how did you think it? Words can scarcely describe it. It was unlike any mere human struggle. I fear I could not report it justly. Indeed, brother. Hmm? It was a fight beyond our ken. I, too, saw it with my own eyes. Our torn and crafts of war would have been doubly doomed against Malos. That's... Is it not folly to assume that our army could do what Adams could not? Your Majesty. Uh... <sighs> Noble Hugo, my brother forgets grace and gratitude. Our nation hangs over doom like a ripened fruit. You and yours are our final ray of hope. Will you offer us aid again to avenge ourselves on the Aegis? We came with that very intention, Your Majesty. Didn't we, Prince Adam? Yes. Majesty. If it must be so, I will expend my life for the future of the land of my forefathers. While we're here, your name is Laura, is it not? Uh, me? Y yes. Your work impressed me deeply. No, I... Yet you are no knight, bear no peerage. Yes. I'm from a settlement in the distant borderlands. I serve with a mercenary band. I knew you for a while. Good Laura, I would like to recognize your valiant labors. The title of Knight of the Realm, it is yours, if you would accept it. Me? A knight? Laura, my congratulations. I can hardly believe it. Me. Come now. A title is a mere decoration. Surely you learned that from me. I hope it will raise your spirits a little, Laura. Humble Laura, I have a request I must make of you. This day, the people of our nation shiver in the darkest of shadows cast by mighty Malos. But I bid that you seed a flower of hope in this shadow-mired land. I hope that I can. Your Majesty, I'll do my best. Well spoken, brave Laura. We shall anoint thee as Lady Laura tomorrow in the plaza before the palace.
coming with me, Something's Treasure. buried down here. Don't have to tell me twice. You're coming with me, Treasure. Don't have to tell me twice. Witness my ear. We're here. Sorry. I think there's something in my eye. wits about us. I no longer feel weary. There's something in my eye. What an incredible place. It's the Matrix of our Titan. What does... 
When the time comes, this is where blades come to be reborn as titans. <gasps> you mean we'll all become titans someday? It's nice to be here again. After 800 years. Were you born here too, Azurda? Hmm. After all, I was a blade born from the Tornan Titan. Of course, I don't have any memories of that time. Once a blade becomes a Titan, they can live without being bound to the driver who awoke them. One day, they may come to watch over their children as the very ground beneath their feet. And the fleeting bonds become eternal. It's the basis of the Tornan Creed. Eternal bonds. So, what now? Malice said he was going to wait. But can we really believe him? I don't think he lied. Why so? He was enjoying himself, that's why. I'd say he's having way too much fun to stop right now. He said that humans long for death. And that he was happy to oblige. Benevolent servant. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Polish to a high shine. Jen. That mask. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a Knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. I mean... Huh? Someday I'll die, and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry.
If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. So, I'm officially a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. and naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. You'd each have your just share of dignity. Or is it really true that... Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts, it's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the Architect's will imminent takes many able hands. It may be this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans. Have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Uh. I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jim. Still, Still? Being like this isn't so bad, either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships? <laughs> <laughs> 